Welcome back to YouTube. I'm Ahmed again from in-depth tech reviews. And in today's video, I'm going to show you all the new things you can do using Siri on iOS 15 and to compare that with iOS 14 to give you a clear idea about the new changes. Before starting, let me remind you that the wallpaper link will be in the description below along with my Amazon affiliate links. So if you want to support the channel, please give it a try. And now let's move on to the comparison. The first thing to show you is the software version on both devices. On the left, I have my iPhone 12 Pro Max running iOS 15 beta 2. And on the right, I have iPhone 10 R running iOS 14.6. I will start with two improvements, the sharing and refer to contacts. As per the release notes, Siri can now share items on screen like photos, web pages, content from Apple Music, Apple Podcasts, Maps locations, and more by just saying send this to and then the contact name. It will either send the item as a link or a screenshot depending on the content you are sharing. And the refer to contacts improvement will allow Siri to send messages or call certain contacts if you have the contact or the conversation showing on the screen. So let's see how both will respond. Send this to my other number. Send this to my other number. Send this to my other number. I can only send screenshots from here. Ready to send it? What do you want to say? Send this to my other number. I can only send screenshots from here. Ready to send it? What do you want to say? Reply, I'm on my way. Your reply to test account says I'm on my way. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, it's sent. Your reply to Amon says I'm on my way. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, it's sent. Call this number. The second one. Send this to my other number. Ready to send it? What do you want to say? As you saw, Siri improved a lot when it comes to sharing items on a screen. It can share pretty much anything you could think of. And now it's time for today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by bcdkey.com. It's an online digital key store that sells games, Windows, and Office keys in very discounted prices. So let's take Windows 10 Pro Retail Key as an example. It's a price to add $15.76, which is a great deal already, but you can make it even better by using my special promo code IND24 to get extra 24% discount. So you can get a Windows 10 Pro Retail Key for $11.98. Another great deal to show you is the Microsoft Office 2019 Professional Plus Retail Key. After using my special promo code IND24, you can get yourself the full Office package for $41.64. So if you want to know more, all the links will be in the description below. Now let's get back to the review. The second improvement is the offline support. As per Apple, Siri can now process many requests offline, including timers and alarms, phone, messaging, sharing, app launch, control audio playback, and settings. Now I have both phones not connected to the internet. On iOS 14, Siri won't even start without internet connection, giving you a message that Siri is not available. So let's try some commands on iOS 15. Open photos. Which app would you like to use? Photos, photos mobile, or Google photos? Photos. Open calendar. Set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, counting down. Set the alarm at 5 a.m. I set your alarm for 5 a.m. tomorrow. Turn off Bluetooth. Okay, Bluetooth is now off. Call my other number. Send the text message to my other number. What do you want to say? Hi, how are you today? Ready to send it? Yes. Next song. Previous song.
stop. In this category, I tried all types of commands mentioned in the release notes and all of them were done perfectly. Now let me show you a couple of useful commands that don't work on iOS 14. The first one is the ability to send the screenshots. Send the screenshot to my other number. Ready to send it? What do you want to say? So if taking screenshots is something you do frequently, Siri on iOS 15 will save you some steps. The second one is the ability to search for photos using the contact name, and that's because iOS 15 has the shared with you feature that allows the photos app to know which contact sent you these photos. So let's give it a try. Show me photos I received from test. Next, Announce notifications. Now when you go to settings and then notifications, you will see a new menu item here called announce notifications. When you go inside, you can turn on the feature which will allow you to listen to your notifications if your phone is connected to AirPods second gen or later and some Beats headphones. Siri will also allow you to reply back to these notifications without the need to use the magic word because it will keep the mic open for a few seconds. From this page, you can turn the feature on or off. And the third option is called reply without confirmation. If you have it turned on, that means Siri won't read your message back as a confirmation before sending. Last but not least, you can choose which apps to use the feature from your apps list. Keep in mind that announced notifications will only work if your phone is locked and connected to the headphones. And here is a quick sample. Ahmad Hassin said, Hi, how are you? From Gmail, Ahmad Hassin, test email, get Outlook for Android. Next controlling your HomeKit devices at a specific time. So for example, you can ask Siri to turn off your lights at 7 p.m. and turn on your air conditioning at 8 a.m. and so on. But for this feature to work, you need to have a Home Hub setup. To be able to set up a Home Hub, you either need an iPad or a HomePod speaker. So let me show you what happens if you don't have any. Turn on my office lights at 7 p.m. Sorry, I can't schedule that without a Home Hub setup. So if you have a home hub, expect this feature to work. So let's try the same on iOS 14. Turn on office lights at 7 p.m. Sorry, I can't schedule commands. The next improvement is maintaining context. As per the description, Siri can now understand the context between requests better. However, I didn't see any difference between iOS 15 and iOS 14 in this matter. And here is some of the commands I tried. Is Global Village still open? Global Village on Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Road is not open now. How long does it take to get there? Traffic to Global Village is light, so I'm estimating 19 minutes via Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Road. Do you want that one? Global Village on Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Road is closed now. How long does it take to get there? Traffic to Global Village is light, so it should take 19 minutes via Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Road. Is that the one you want? How tall is the Great Pyramid of Giza? The Great Pyramid of Giza is 481 feet tall. Where is it located? I'm sorry, I don't have any places to show. The Great Pyramid of Giza is 147 meters tall. Where is it located? I'm sorry, I don't have any places to show. Show me the actors of The Conjuring 3 movie. Okay, I found this on the web for Show Me the Actors of The Conjuring 3 movie. Check it out. Who's the director? Here's some information. Okay, I found this on the web for Show Me the Actors of the Conjuring 3 movie. Check it out. Who's the director? Here's some information. So these are the new changes I was able to demonstrate in this video, but there are other features like the on-device speech recognition and personalization. Both should improve the response time. In addition to announce messages in CarPlay and support for more languages. I still don't see anything groundbreaking when it comes to Siri in iOS 15, but it's certainly better than before. 
So I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.